Hi, welcome to another video for SimonsVideo.com. My name is Samante and today I'm going to do another Clash of Clans strategy part 31 and today I'm going to do defense analysis of top 3 donors of my clans and uh, I would like to congratulate them for donating the most number of troops uh, that they are Brian92 at on 1009 donation and JOSJJJ at 802 donation and Jim JJJ at 789 donation. First thing is the air defense towers uh, currently outside of the bunker, which makes it very very dangerous for Dragon Rush. Where I hope the this uh, reinforcement castle can be maybe somewhere here or here or maybe in the center, but obviously it's not much enough space for that because uh, it's quite crowded inside. First thing I realized is the cannon is actually uh, positioned in such a way that it's very focused on the left side and instead of uh, a balanced uh, position and the archer is also very focused on the bottom right so you can see the long range is uh, more, more range on the left and bottom and on the right side there's not much of a uh, long range attack except for the motor uh, one single motor so anyone with uh, you know attack from the right side uh, you have a higher chance of penetrating and as for the motor itself you can see that the motor is a bit more focused on the left side so I hope the motor can move in a triangle formation so that it covers majority of the base the position here uh, the the traps are okay it's just that it is a little bit too wide definitely very very nice um, you can see that uh, they have multiple layers for the enemy to penetrate before you can reach the center part of the resource making it very well protected and you can see that this can be a bunker style it can be also a, a you know a trophy kind of basis because it, it fully protects everything the air defense is a way to top and bottom if it can be placed in the center is the most uh, most uh, best kind of position but obviously it is a bit crowded there so it's a little bit tough um, it's very hard to attack the center with wall breakers because uh, when enemy attack from the top on the side uh, they will definitely be attracted the wall breaker will be attracted to the side so it's very hard for the wall breakers to, to go straight through this is a very well uh, designed base which I, I think I like it very much well basically that's it for this Clash of Clans strategy part 31 and I really hope you like this video and share and comment and subscribe to this channel at youtube.com slash 78 and of course uh, if you want to find more information about this uh, video you can go to simonvideo.com slash coc or you can join me at facebook groups and uh, google plus communities right so basically that's it thank you very much for watching Simon's video have a nice day see ya bye bye to support for this podcast, please visit simonvideo.com for more podcasts and application reviews. Thank you very much. You still have bonus content for you. Okay, today I'm going to teach you on how to fold your clothes uh, neatly so that it looks very nice in your wardrobe. First, uh, face down and place it on a flat surface. Make sure it's very flat so that you can just straighten it up. Get a piece of board such as this, you can recycle this from any uh, unused board that you have uh, lying around. The measurement will be in the description below. And you place on top at the edges of your neck region at the back and just fold it quickly and fold it quickly and straighten it up. Make sure it's straightened up so that it looks nice, nicer. And of course, uh, any excess, just fold it in much and just fold it up. And anything excess, just tuck it in and turn it over. Press at the bottom, pull out the piece of board. And there you have it, a uh, very nicely folded with the exactly same width and height of the rest of the clothes you have. Well, basically, that's it for this video. Thank you very much for watching Simon's video. Have a nice day. See ya. Bye-bye.